Experiences viewers are having getting jobs feedback. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters and in today's video I just want to talk about some of the feedback that we've been getting from people and some of the situations people have been coming across. Uh, first I just want to uh, say congratulations to Daniel who sent us through this lovely Facebook message just saying that he'd been trying for 12 months to get in and he finally bit the bullet and bought the DIY package in July and after six weeks of applying he's got himself a nippers job so congratulations for that. So if you're looking for these jobs you just have to type underground into seek and you'll see all the jobs come up they're all over the country. This is our map with all the jobs around the country and the reason the other thing that I wanted to talk about is I've had a couple of guys that have come through lately that have been initially offered jobs but then the companies come back to them and said sorry that job has fallen through but we want still want you for another job we'll be in contact with you to um, tell you when and where. Now the reason that I want to bring this up is because one of the things that nobody really tells you is that the foremans and the project managers when they're hiring people they're really under the pump so they don't do anything if they don't have to so in the, what the first situation a pastefield job fell through um, and they told him that they should have something for him in a month and that they'd be back in contact with him and they followed him up and all that sort of stuff what I'm trying to say with that is that generally speaking in the industry, if they don't want you, they'll just tell you that they don't want you or they'll ghost you. Nobody takes the time to call you up and shine you on and say, yes, we still want you, but we're just waiting on something. When someone generally does that, especially in the hard rock underground side of things, then they generally want you. Um, we've got another guy that's in South Australia at the moment. This exact same thing's happening. He had a big boss call him back and tell him that the job had fallen through, but he still wanted him and he's on the top of the list it's the same thing applies you know if the big boss really you know didn't want you they'd just ghost you or they call you up and say no sorry there's not a job they wouldn't shine you on like that because there's no point to it and in the first case about a month later the guy got offered the job we're still waiting to see what happens with the second case but I'm sure it will be exactly the same because the point that I'm trying to make is the people that interview for these jobs and decide who get these jobs, the foremans and the project managers, they don't take, they don't have a lot of time to muck around. So if they want you, they want you. If they don't, they don't. And if they make contact back to you and say, look, I still want you, but there's nothing at the moment, that's a really good sign. Don't stop applying for anything in the area that you're in but you know don't dismiss it either you know if they don't want you they won't call you back or they'll just ghost you you only have to look on social media to see how many people get ghosted by these mining companies so just try and understand it from the foreman's point of view it's not uh, you know hiring new starters unfortunately is a bit of a chore because they go through so many of them there's so many of them fail that's why the training got written back in the day it's the intro to underground mining the diy and the work ready packages they um the training got written to help a new starter get themselves up to speed because the problem that all the employers have got isn't teaching you how to drive the truck or nipper or offside or anything like that it's teaching you enough about how the mine works so they can leave you alone to get on with the job by yourself until you find your feet and you can be left alone to get on with the job safely you haven't secured your job unfortunately so that's one of the big things about doing the training but there's lots of jobs around and if you can actually hold a conversation with the foreman in the interview like Daniel said it took him six weeks after he did the DIY package there's full instructions on how to redo your resume in there there's interview prep and um, yeah every if you've got any questions about how um, you want to get in or anything like that please just send them through you can do it either through the youtube channel or you can do it through the website here so i hope you found that information helpful and remember um if the foreman or the project manager gets back to you and they're you know they're telling you that they still want you and all that sort of stuff that's a really good sign because nobody does anything in this industry that they don't have to there's just not enough time people are under the pump all the time trying to get their job done so nobody's going to take the time to bother to call you back to shine you on and tell you that there's a job that's not going to be there 
if there really isn't a job there and they don't think that they've got something for you. So I just wanted to put that out there because we've had a few people that that's happened to and that's their experiences. So if you've got any more experiences like that, please send them through and I'm happy to share them around. And if you could share this video around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks.